Hello, survivors of the apocalypse. Welcome back to Atom RPG and playing hardball. Lately, we had a lot of good fights, and the last one against those bandits that tried to kill us at the shootout, uh, or like the, the who are part of the group that wanted to kill us. Um, they gave us the opportunity to make a very good move, a very cool. Uh, melee move however we've been beaten up very very significantly fortunately we have still all our teeth but that's barely it several fractures but we survived and we took them out so and now we need to find this guy um the this drug trader uh who didn't provide support, we remember. He had the shootout at the old bridge. Yeah. And well, we took out the uh, the 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 bandits here at the wounded tourist tunnel just so they are not becoming a threat to Red Fighter and the wider area here. As we know we are working towards a more civilized uh, society and general civil uh, situation. So let's start the engine. We will immediately. We're just driving away a little bit. Maybe there. And then. We are finding a nice spot. Well, this is not what I had pictured, but it's fine. And then we are immediately roasting some meat. They are cooking. Very good. Very good indeed. Come along, guys. More meat. And we are resting here. Even more meat. There you go. Yeah, we've been beaten up very, very significantly. But it's fine. Oh, yeah. For the first time in quite a while, Jolba is actually okay. Oh, yeah. And by the way, Fidel got a level as well. That is fine. Can he get... Oh, yes. We do have something. So, the big question is with him... Do we do this manhunter? Double damage to human opponents on a critical aim shot. So the thing is, he only has 5% and it's not going to be much higher, I think. Can we actually increase our crit damage somehow? I'm not sure. Tinkering, intelligence, crafted weapon damage, blast rays, that's just for explosives here. Up here, that's more regeneration, stealth, find animals. Ah, here there's something. Crit chance. They call me the hunter, that's my name. Plus 5% crit chance. First you need to learn a lover of healthy foods. Oh. Yeah, well. I mean, those 5%, that's really awesome. And the dodge. So that's actually also a very good tree here, I find. Um... Yeah. But I also feel like I think Fidel will probably uh, profit most from not dying so quickly. So let's give him the nurse first and then feeling good. Plus one health per level and plus one action point. Like with uh, Hexogen. I think that's, that's quite useful. So he's got 123 and it's uh, there's a notable difference, I find, in survivability, um, which is, of course, also due to the better armor that Hexogen is wearing, of course. Yeah. Melee. I mean, this year is also pretty good. That's what our main character is going for after this year. Yeah. Hmm. Well, plus five sequence is also pretty good. Yeah, I'm actually inclined to do something different with Fidel. So the weapon knowledge, that's all. Yeah. Hmm. The dodge. Yeah, come on. We are, we are firstly, we are going for the feel good, also for the action point, because with that he can shoot twice with the other rifle and maybe we find some better. 
gear as well at some point. Let's go here first. And then actually I, th I feel with Fidel we could after that go for this year. Because then... Then he's actually more our hunter guy. Our hunter person. Yeah, and then with a higher crit chance of 10%, then it's actually useful to even have a higher damage potential. But it's not happening so often, so I think he's profiting more from other things. So let's do this here. So, if you don't agree, please do tell. But yeah, he's more our... He's supposed to be kind of our sniper guy. Yeah. But, well, yeah, what should I say? He's more the inferior sniper. So, if this one to 170. Let's have melee weapons to 120. And, yeah, he needs more stealth as well. So, let's put stealth to 70, let's say. And, yeah, first aid, 95 is good enough, I guess. Uh, let's have some more rifles even so there okay and now by the way it's 120 and by the way we remember he's got the tiger machete now right an intimidating bladed weapon that can easily cleave through both men and shrubbery ap cost three and that means that fidel three yeah, okay, no, he's never going to attack three times. But it's fine. With eight, he can walk around a bit as well. So I think uh, it's it's most likely more effective this way. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, sorry. I wanted to look at Hexogen. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, then. So let's eat one more. Oh, Julba, come out of the fire. Come on, boy. Don't be suicidal there. Let's eat some more meat. There, so. We had a good rest. Are we actually having the... It only says bolt. I don't want the metal bolts. We, we also kind of used up, for some reason, we used up all our metal bolts. Which was kind of a waste. Ah, oh. well, so, saving, so, and now, we are, uh, we are going to Red Fighter, oh, and by the way, uh, and you, you remember, we do have uh, new people at Red Fighter, um, that is Dunya, who, who was slightly unkind to us, because she doesn't remember, oh, sorry, we need to get our car. Eh? Did I did I just screw up everything? What happens? What's happening? Is the car here? We forgot the car. Oh god, can can we get the car back? Oh no. Okay, well, that's good to know, actually, like, to try it out, what happens if we leave. I think I just forgot the car at the camping site, right? Oh, yeah, here. So, no, it, it works. So, let's take the car. So, we wanted to drive around to get to Otrad Neue. There. And, uh, help the mayor with this car. So, we, uh, we organized, um, the towing. Of the car to Otrad Neue, you remember the one, the car that was, uh... Oh yeah, it's this one, yeah, they brought it. Okay, it's the same one. The car at the old factory. So let's tell him. Hey, Kovalev, good news! We see the former head of Otrad Neue, Kovalev. He's sitting at a table with a bottle of liquor, a glass and some simple food. Seeing us, he livens up right away. I hope he's not turning an alcoholic. How's it going, friend? Did you manage to find a car? 
Well, you should go out more, Kovalev. There she stands, the beauty. It will need a lot of work now. Look for yourself. Oh my, thank you so much. I'll check it out right away. You did that, Kovalev. And, yeah, in the meantime, let's... Hey there, engineer. You say anything? No. You have anything? No. You, Vasya, do you have anything? You have something, yeah. That's great. 466, but actually let's... Oh yeah, there he is. Okay, so let's run up. So we are not missing anything. Would you look at that? That's no car. That's gold. Pure gold, my friend. Well, indeed you are right. This car is pure gold. We can see it directly. Like right away, right? Kovalev. He's running around the car looking it over from all angles. There's a real spring in his step. What a beauty. The color is wrong, but still, this is a real car. Well, mostly. Let's make a closer inspection. Hmm. Body rusting off the frame. The engine looks like it was smashed. Wires chewed through by rodents. The upholstery has also seen better days. It will take a whole lot of work to fix this thing, but it's not impossible, especially with a resourceful fellow like you around. Let's see what I'll need to get the engine started. Well, you do that, Kovalev. The former head of the village looks the car over. You know what? It's not that bad. Gonna have to scrape away some of this rust, fashion some parts by hand, and the starter and carb carburetor both have to be replaced. I'll also need a ton of scrap metal and wires, about 20 kilos of scrap and around 8 lengths of wire. I think only you can get those two items for us. Comrade Kovalev, where can I find such rare items? Starters, carburetors, you won't find them in any local store. I know a trader in Krasus many. He was a factory mechanic before the war. His henchmen gather car parts from all across the land. He lives in the city hotel under lock, key and an armed guard. Because he has a lot of enemies. If you care to visit him, his name is Dmitry Artemyev. Did we already hear the name Artemyev? I think so, right? The old man wrinkles his nose as if remembering something nasty. You can tell him that Detective Kovalev sends his regard, but I doubt that it will make a good impression. You could also ask among the scavengers, though I don't think they will have the right parts. Um, Comrade Kovalev. Obviously there's a story about this Artemyev, huh? Kovalev looks into our eyes and then turns away. Seems like he suddenly lost his iron spine, the organ that kept him standing proud and tall in this terrible world. He... He's a reminder of a failure from long ago. Aha. Uh -huh. It was a detective with the people's militia. Hey, I was a detective with the people's militia. We were chasing after a gang of car thieves who disassembled their stolen stock and sold the parts and scrap. Just before the war, all the factories were working to supply the army. Times were rough. Everything was dedicated to the war effort, even though some people were starving. That was when we first heard about cars being stolen. We increased our patrols and sent undercover operatives to check out things out. We assembled a civilian militia from some willing volunteers and had them watch in places with a lot of parked cars. Finally we found out a small gang of car thieves was operating in town. Artemyev was their leader. Oh, you don't say and? Kovalev goes silent for a moment, then he stretches his back and continues. He was thought to be a good man, a true communist, a local factory mechanic who knew his craft. But when the war started, it turned out he wasn't interested in making an honest living. He faked sickness to avoid conscription, gathered a bunch of his deadbeat pals and started stealing from honest folks. The cars he stole were broken up for spare parts on the black market. This business filled his pockets with precious cash. In time, the gang became savage. They attacked a truck carrying tractor motors. Oh. So, did you get him in the end, Kovalev? That I did. We knew in advance that he was planning to steal a massive gas tank from the railway station. So we planted an ambush and caught his gang red-handed. But then Artemyev started shooting at us. 
Who knew he would stoop that low? The operation was top secret, so the population was not warned. There was a crowd of people on the platform, just honest folks, waiting for the train. It took one bullet, striking that gas tank, and then the spark explosion, panic, citizens running every which way. Eight good people lost their lives that day. Oh. We caught Artemiev at the scene. My men wanted to kill him then and there, right on the tracks along with his gang. But we put him in prison instead. He was awaiting his sentence when he was saved by the very same thing that destroyed our world, the bomb. He escaped during the panic and I settled here and built Otrad Neue. Life went on. Wow, what a story, huh? Well, Kovalev, and now we even know better that you are a good man because you... You know, you had him go to trial or through trial to prison and you just didn't execute him like a thug. Yeah, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing. You can pro you can be proud on that. Yeah. So, what a story. How you think he can help us? Comrade Kovalev shrugs. Maybe so. A lot of time have, has passed. But it is up to you whether or not you mention my name to Artemyev. You might have a better chance chance of success if you don't. Okay, well, let's look through my junk. I might have something you need already. Sure, let's see what you've got. Okay, so Basa, okay, we don't have anything right now. Let's just go and look into the trunk. So he said seven, 20 and only oh, no, 17 and 8. 20 kilograms equals 17 units of scrap. Not sure what, you know, what's the calculation behind that number. Like 20 kilograms are 17 scrap. But, well, you don't have to understand everything in life, right? So, and then he wanted wires. Where are the wires? Open your eyes and you shall see. Ah, oh, excellent, we do have wires. There. By the way, did we actually put everything away? Yes, we did. Okay, good. Julba. Ah, Julba. Julba, good boy. Give here. Give here. Yeah, there. Good boy. Good. And we are over encumbered now. It's still over there. Well. So let's drag the stuff over there. To help him. Kovalev. So here, look what we are dragging over. 20 kilograms. We see Comrade Kovalev getting busy with car repair. Seeing us, he puts away his wrench and wipes his greasy hands on an old rag. Hello there, young man. What did you bring me today? Well, hard to tell. Let's take a look at the loot. Sure, let's see what you've got. Well, I think we already have enough scrap metal. Kovalev's face shines with a wide, happy smile. Oh, he waves at the trunk of the car while scratching his chin nervously. Great, put it over there and go get the other things we need. I'll continue with the diagnostics. And add ri wires, right? I think we have them. The format of Otradnoya smiles gratefully. You're a real-life hero. Please, place it here near the car. Well, I hope it helps, so... Then... See you later. Bye bye. So that's good. So we we immediately did that. Yeah. Comrade Kovalev asked to find 17 and 8. And now we need to find this carburetor, whatever that is. I, we can find such an item on some scavengers or at a shady trader, Dimitri. I think we should go to this Artemyev and talk with him. He lives in a hotel, yeah. So that's certainly interesting. I think we know all the guy already, but we never spoke to him because uh, he's behind his guard, right? So let's go over here. The guy had 400 something. Um, yeah, and by the way, so and we found these pine cones here. 
And I'm not entirely sure what we can do with them, but I guess time will tell. So, time will tell and we ask ourselves what to sell. So, Fidel, you get these two here. Exogen carries the rusty rifles. Do-it-yourself helmets, two of them. Two like so, and then, oh yeah, we have so many sort of shotguns. And you have one of those, so there. Three rusty AK-47. We should actually, it's a bit sad that we can't donate stuff to the village. I would like to donate the AKs uh, to the guards, actually. And I think Katya would be happy about that too. So, all right then. So we wanted to barter. You have 466 rubles. That's great. And even one of these here. That's even better. Although it's only a regular stimulant. So it's roughly 500. Um. Well, how about two hunting ri uh, two uh, rifles here? Perfect! Nearly perfect. Seven. Seven rubles he gets to keep, but that's fine. When we are at 60,000 now, huh? Or nearly. Nearly 60,000. 60, Excellent. Okay. So we better go. By the way, how much meat do we have left on us? Five. Okay, yeah. Good. We ate a lot. Um go to the trader and then we can also go to the doctor hey there trader let's see what you have you don't have so much but it is sufficient um yeah 179 that is more like how much is one it's 230 or something yeah um yeah, it's not enough, but let's sell him like this and there. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, have a nice day. Let's go to the dock. He often has some money as well. Here there, Doc Mikoyan, how are you doing? Deeply occupied writing something in a large old book. Okay, yeah, there. How's the search for an apprentice going? So, oh yeah, we'd like the stimulant. Well, and why not? More stuff against radiation won't be too bad. How much? But I think we are really. Yeah. Uh, on the other hand, I mean, we are we want to go to this dead city, right? And we heard that it's like radiated and stuff. So maybe we should actually start collecting some stuff. 681. That is that is a good number. So how about a rusty sort of shotgun for you and a nice tire armor? And, well, you don't even have a rifle, right? But that's too much, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we could find some more sharp knives for him, maybe. It's 146. One hundred forty-six. Thanks, Doc. So let's see if we can. I think. Let's see. We definitely can give him the knives. But is there something more elegant? Oh, and he needs some throwing knives, of course. And maybe even the thorny armor. Right. Oh yeah, we have three grenades uh, in the trunk. Okay. 
Well, I feel for the dog it would also be fitting for him to have the Mauser pistol. Yeah. That would be actually pretty fitting, in my opinion. Um, yeah, and he can... Do we get him the tire? Oh, by the way, this year it's Krasnos Nameni. Yeah, we are going to Krasnos Nameni anyway. Or maybe the weighted glove, but we are going to upgrade that at some point. So, dog. We've got some money that we want, 146, and you can actually use a helmet or even two helmets and you can choose the one that you like better now okay then like so how about one of those that's 190 that's too much but how about another sharp knife for your trade that's also not enough hmm then how about this helmet and like this yeah that's better so there you go yeah, oh, he didn't even have a sharp knife, by the way. I just noticed, so that's good. A doctor should have a sharp knife. So have a nice day. Thank you very much. Okay, and then... Uh, well, I feel, now that we are in Operat Neue, we are going to Krasnosameni, of course, but we could also make a short detour, now that we have so much merchandise, and it has been a while that we've been in Paragon. Let's make a short trip to Paragon. Um, and then we are selling some stuff. So this is like a pure trading trip. With the cards very quick anyway. There we go. Very good. Entering. And then... Because if we go to the dead city, as we know... Um, I know here there uh, there are very high costs involved oh what there are no traders here what's going on no traders whatsoever what time is it oh it's zero okay well I mean we could also take a room that's Richard Richard, ha Richard has some money sometimes. Hey there. How are you doing, stalker? Yeah, you have 500. Okay, that's good. And we even get a little bit of extra ammo from you. Yeah, and well, let's get the paper as well. For 12. That's the minimum price anyway. Just to complete the quest. So, you do have this and that, but you don't have a hockey helmet yet. And you could also use a rusty sort of shotgun very nicely, actually. How about one throwing knife, huh? Like that. What's that? 65. Oh, perfect. And then you even get a helmet. There you go, buddy. There you go. There. Very nice indeed. Okay. Well then. And then let's go to the other guys. There. Not much more trading otherwise. Well, and Julba could actually do some dogfighting. Hey there. Can we talk about anything new? No? Okay. Oh, and you don't have anything. Okay. Well, but we could get the Aprofinum. Yeah, let's start buying that stuff. And... Yeah. 200 so like how about like how about two of these I actually like one like so and then one sharp knife like so yeah, well, and then we could do it like this, huh? One scrap, and he's got some milk. 
Yeah, I think that's fine. So, three rubles as a tip. Thank you for the business. Let's talk with Eugenie. Bartering is also doesn't have anything new. Except for some paper. Well then, buddy. Try to sell some of your stuff. Um, well, can we talk about anything else? No, okay then. Hope you enjoyed seeing Hexogen again. in here there that's our friend hello there some answers okay anything new no but you do have some money which is excellent and you even have a very limited number of shots here oh yeah and some gasoline that we take that is all fine well we could even take the tin because bolts and then this year and then we are at 812 that's not so bad um which gives you two P old rusty pps that's good and how about one sharp knife huh hmm. yeah meldonium I don't want to give him like 30 rubles worth of stuff, so... Hmm. And we also don't really want to trade... Uh, our, our good stuff. Well, so what? What to do now? Well, we've got several of these. No. Oh. So we are, we are losing out on some rubles, 33, but it's, I think we will survive that. So let's do this. So with something else, thank you very much. Let's go over there. Julba can have a dogfight. Oh, I think this could even be the, the dead wolf from last time. This one is a white one. Oh yeah, well, so Hexogen, no one is watching, you are breaking the teeth out of there. Jolba, how are you doing? Yeah, Jolba, good boy, good boy. So Kalindra, how is it going? So, your ex-boyfriend. Well, okay, any good rumors? When I was younger, I romanticized the criminal way of life. The Thuck Fortress, yeah, well. Everybody makes mistakes, right? Oh, this, her dog also has uh, some form of armor there. Hmm. So here, the fat manager. There you go. Hey there, big guy. Hey, come to me to put your dog in the ring. Yeah, we would like to take part in it. So, we bet... Who will be our dog's opponent in this fight? It will be the devil occupying the body of a beast by the name of Bailey. He's famous for only eating the meat of his slain enemies. Well, we bet 300 rubles. 300? Now that I can respect. Okay, what you waiting for? Put your dog, human's best friend, into that smaller cage near the arena. Command Jolba. You show him Jolba's. There we go. Well, you take Julba first, huh? Oh! Beastie nasty, but Julba is big and very sturdy. So, the man distracts himself from counting money and gives us a sly wink. Congratulations, yeah, you as the owner of the gem get you deserve 540 rubles. So, thank you very much. So, that means we have 61,000 rubles now. Yeah, well. And I think let's actually we've not talked with this Trudomir guy for a very long time. 
The bearded artist is still drawing in his sketch pad. Hello, what brings you around this time? Well, do you have anything new to say? No? Okay, well then, any good rumors? Oh, just vulgar performances for the masses. A bunch of circus mutants I've heard of. Okay, well, we know that pretty well, actually. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, there's nothing else for us to do here. Good. So, I mean, we could actually sleep. And then it's daytime. Um, and we could sell some more. With the traders up here, but it's also not such a super amount like with these guys. However, there should be at least one trader here, and maybe there's even someone over there. So let's actually do that. We've not slept in a while in an apartment or something let's do that and then we are going back to uh, actually I think we could go back to red fighter so let's sleep here neatly dressed woman hello there you look very clean um oh you are bartering no, no not really okay so so 50 rubles for room price of food included yeah then Let's go to bed. There we go. And there was Kostya the face. Oh, let's talk to this guy. Oh, this was the one with the with the bee, right? Yeah. The jittery man tilts his head to the side and looks at us. His eye is twitching nervously. What is it you want? Tell me. Well, we just came for a chat. Well, what is it? Time is money. Well, that's see if you actually sell something you don't really so have a nice day we are also not wasting our time with you so let's see we do have some some stuff left not sure well he has some money that's good ah oh, excellent I mean, he's also a hard haggler, but it's fine. There. He gets the armor then. Let's go over here. But I think... Well, okay, they could get the... Uh, here, the, the meat merchant. Throws your wares. Yeah, so she, she can afford the... Oh, yeah, but she's very expensive. And doesn't pay well. Yeah, well, let's give her this. Two different knives. It's fine. And then over here, this here is the last lady. It's 121. And then we are out of merchandise, yeah. Yeah, well, let's not bother. Just passing through. I'm so hungry, says Stepan. Hey, Stepan, what's going on? For front of us stands a smiling young man of average height. He nods to us, arms crossed. Glad to see you, the man who put Fyodor Maksivomich in control. Well, so, are you bartering now? Oh, well. Well, then we can't really help you, buddy. But maybe you uh, ask ask the guy for a job and by the way now that we are here let's talk with them again maybe something came up Fyodor we've been on the bandit hunt for quite a while here hello so can we join the management team I don't think you'd be interested it's about 70% paperwork okay we are we are out of there already seeing uh, hearing of that number okay well then thank you um we are not holding you up from your paperwork Let's talk to him again. He might have some more money. Hello there. Do you? Do you or don't you? You don't. Okay then. Yeah. Ah well, actually now that there are these guys. Yeah, let's get some more merchandise. So. Go here. Any. 
Ah, yeah, very good. And we have a trader. Okay, good. Yeah, we are filling up with merchandise now. And then we are just running back. We need the money. Also, it doesn't help anybody if uh, we fill up our trunk with stuff that we are never going to need. One like so. And by the way, this here goes there, 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 there. We could actually use ourselves a shotgun, a hunting shotgun, for example. That would actually probably be not so bad. Let's have the helmets. Like five. Three barreled handguns. Maybe two of them. I've got 12 leather armors. Wow. There. Fidel can have some as well. One Makarov pistol. Um, one steel armor. Where are the knives? Or did I overlook them? It's Shishak's gun. Oh, we wanted to put that one. I forgot about it. Oh, and the old gas mask, your yeah. one there. Oh, do we have any more knives? No bladed weapons, huh? Only the throwing knives, well. No, indeed, we don't, oh yeah, here, okay. Like so. All right, let's run over. She's a trader. That was the blind woman, Zoya. Hey, the Zoya. How are you doing? Let's trade. Oh, you don't have anything. Okay. Or anything new, at least. Okay then. Oh well, actually, let's let's trade the sheaf. Now that we are here, and you can actually use one, cause you don't have one. Defend yourself with it. There you go. Okay, we need to go. Have a nice day. Thanks and bye bye. Come on and bye. Gunnar, hey, how's it going? Let's trade. You do have some stuff that is not uninteresting. Well, then let's have the tins. Um, we also have wires. We need wires for our stuff. Uh, well then, and then, well, that's just, that's just 18 rubles. Okay, 239. Uh, that's 209. There. So, broken bottles, huh? A trade in broken bottles. Like that. You can be a broken bottle merchant. Thank you and goodbye, Carrion. Are you actually uh, bartering? Yeah, okay. No, you don't. Kind of, you are kind of not selling your stuff for profit, it appears. Well then, have a nice day, buddy. Then let's go to the lady over here. The potato farmer. Hey there, you have some money for us and we have some stuff for you that you can surely use well. So this one is 400 even. M um, 20. Yeah, well, how about an axe? 
How about an X? I think that's exactly the right thing for you, good lady. And how about a sharp knife? That's perfect. And then you keep two rubles as change. There we go. There we go. A farmer should always have an axe and some other tools. Is this Richard? Yeah, okay. Hey, Richard. In the last five hours or so that we slept, and you don't have anything either, yeah. Nothing has happened, okay. Thank you very much. And then here, this friend. Hey there, how are you? And you have nothing of interest. Well then, thank you, see you. Okay. Looking into the, well, hydrogen. Not sure the, who throws away the good corn all the time. So there we go. And then let's go to the traders there. Oh, well, there was one to the trader. And these guys are gone, yeah. Well, we could we could do the uh, the protection job, right? As caravan escort. Hello there, friend. Uh, could you lend us some fuel for the car? How about five liters? It costs you one hundred rubles. Yeah, cool. Here's the money. Then we don't need to bother with our gasoline uh, bottles. So you are a bit expensive, but that's fine. Also, ammo is always in short supply. But if we are smart, oh, by the way, we are also taking this old boot off of you. We are, if you are smart, then it's all fine. Should we get this diesel? I mean, maybe at some point we need some more. Ah, let's do it. So that's 2,000. 800 even. Yeah, let's get, let's sell this one here first. The gas mask. There, to five already, wow. Wow. Uh, well then, the Makarov. That's too much. And we don't want the other stuff. Yeah, I mean, this here could also be interesting, but it shoots a lot. Uh, and I'd rather find something that's worth 16,000 than, uh, you know, buy it. How about one more? Hmm. Well, then you can have the three barreled. Or rather, one helmet, huh? No, oh, that's also too much, yeah. Um, and how about one rusty rifle? That's better, isn't it? There. That's more like it. Or even rather, yeah, uh, well. Well, maybe actually we should get one more antidote. Or a grenade. But I don't feel like throwing around grenades too, too much and too often anyway. Um, because it costs like 8 AP. That's really a lot. So 3,000, well then, we had something, some solution. That was, oh no, that was 3,2. Uh, what was it? We had, oh yeah, one helmet, no. No, that was also 3,2. But like this, 69. Yeah, there, now, now a knife. There you go. Even with throwing knife. There we go. Okay, that's good. There. We have a deal. Some ammunition. 
actually a lot of diesel here. Not sure if we actually need it, but won't hurt. Although no one in their right mind wants actually fossil fuels these days, but uh, yeah, environment is messed up anyway. So that's actually all a good situation. We made quite some money and now we are at 64,000. Let's open the trunk. Put it that stuff away. Diesel, all this. This just weighing us down. There you go. The rusty sort of shotguns. Yeah, we've got a lot of ammunition there. How much paper do we have? Paper, paper, paper. Those were biscuits. Where's the paper? There, 41, okay. And we need 322 or something. No, we have 322. Yeah. So. Are they, both of them had only a little bit of money. Okay, yeah, that's, that's good. That is a way we can roll. Um, good. Leaving, saving. And now we get into the car. And then we are driving back to Red Fighter, I would argue. And then from Red Fighter, we drive. No, that's not Red Fighter. There's Red Fighter. And from Red Fighter, oh. Oh, we've been ambushed by a gang of slave hunters. A quick glance is enough to tell that they are trying to circle us. Okay, well. We are going to help the, sla the potential slaves. Ah, oh, that's already... Oh, sort of shotgun and this guy comes with... Thorn armor, I think. Knife, battle gauntlet, that's the nasty slaver. Okay, Makarov pistol. Okay, and somewhere there must be some... Frightened, shivering potential slaves, the would-be slaves. Okay, well then. So, you guys. Fidel, switch your weapon. There. And then be aggressive. Don't care at this point whom you shoot. However, Jolba, you be defensive. Can we shoot the guy as we can? That's good. Okay. So, and he is actually... Like the slaver. Yeah, actually, guys, I think you should uh, attack the slaver there. This one has a Makarov. It's a hexogen. Oh, let's actually shoot him in the eyes first. Maybe. Oh, what's happening? Ah. Right from there, then. Can we kill him? No. Uh, not good. But well, then. Come on, guys. Kill him if you can. And Jolba. Then you are aggressive and you attack this guy as well, please. And then the, the next targets are those guys there. Okay. Going there out of the way. Jolba, very good. Oh, nice. Put him on the ground. That's good. Oh no, that was like a whole waste of ammo and a stupid action as well, because, well, but whatever. I mean, we gave the order, right? Now you guys take that one. Exogen there. Oh, there's another one. And that one also has a sort of, that even looks shiny. Jolba, no! Oh! Ah oh, well. Jolba, be defensive, and I want you to run. 
like there, okay? Good boy. So, well, ending the term then. Two ones there, that's good. And then we can actually try out. Oh, yeah, very good, guys. Didn't expect you to kill him. Is there anybody coming from around here? No, okay. Well, if that guy only has a knife, so Julba, you can turn aggressive. And get that one. Well, Exogen, you are hunting that guy. And Fidel, you too. There. Reloading the bow. Can you shoot someone? No. 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 And yeah, he has he has a sort of shotgun in good condition, this guy actually. Let's go there. And the turn. Yeah, he's coming up. Good, let's shoot him in the eyes. Okay, not dead. Which means he's the new priority. Come on, guys. Don't mess this up. He has a lot of damage potential. But Jolba stays on this guy. Loading. They are good. Okay. Can we shoot this guy? No. And that guy? Neither. Okay. We run here. Can't shoot this one. But that one. Okay. Exogen. Take some revenge on that one with the Makarov. Fidel, you too. But I think you won't be able to shoot him. And we are shooting this guy. He's trying to hide behind the bus stop. Ah, oh, he, he used a... Oh! Yeah, good. They are using... Oh! Blinded. Even blind, I'm still gonna get you, you filthy eye killer. Load. Can we shoot him? Yes, we now we can. Okay, good. Shooting in the eyes. Oh, well. Jolba, as the guy is using up. Like Jolba, you are totally underperforming today. And Hexogen is using so much ammo for killing them uh, if they have only one, like five hit points left or something. Horrible. What's going on with you guys today? Well then, so we are running here. Yeah, Julba is totally underperforming. Yeah. Um, the fight is not over. Why not? Is there someone creeping around somewhere? Julba, do you sniff something? I don't see anyone. Ah, there. He's got a, oh, he's also got a sort of shotgun in good condition, okay. Well. But then let's run over there. Oh, no, there are two. Okay. Yeah, Jolba, be defensive and you stay here. Stay, defend our loot. So, running there. Yeah, the guy is hiding now.
running there. Still not in range, that guy, so we, we need to be careful here. Let's go like this. Yeah, the shotgun comes over, okay. There, very good. Okay, then Fidel, I want you to attack that guy. And Hexogen, if you can, that guy as well. He needs to die first. That guy only has the pry bar. Let's hope he doesn't uh, start throwing grenades or something. Ice? Okay. Yeah, we, we are pretty unlucky today. Good, good shot. Okay. The eyes. They are very good. Gone. They are very good. Now this nasty slaver is done. Well, Fidel, you just ran into kind of the line of fire, but well. So we are running through Hexogen's line of fire. And the turn. Oh, he's coming in. There. There. Oh, that was a good fight. Julba got a level. Excellent. Quick saving. Oh, yeah, he's... It's bad eyesight. I'm not sure how long that will be. Like, I mean, theoretically doesn't heal, of course. Oh, and uh, Hexogen also got a level there. Which is great, because now we can think about what to do. Um, so we definitely bring everything to a nice even number, like everything like plus five, that's good. Mm. And let's actually put automatic firearms to 150 and martial arts. Oh, let's let's have stealth as at 90, so like that. And Julba is a fatality master. Let's increase the stealth. 225. And then four points to survival. And he also has one thing now. That's good. So protection from explosions and fire or oh, he's never afraid now I think we are getting the knockdown chance so I'd like the knockdown a lot actually by the way how do we know that what chance of knockdown he has we don't the inventory screen no <clears throat> doesn't say weak bite well anyway then Julba gets this year the knockdown chance I think uh, going offensive with them is probably uh, better now that that we have the the dodge yeah Offensive is better, I think. There. Chance to ignore armor. Yeah, base, base damage. We are going this here. I think that's good. And then after these two, the crit and crit damage, we give him resistance. Or actually maybe like firstly the base damage and um, he has 6% crit chance. Yeah, let's see. So, the slave hunter. Yeah, didn't have a weapon, just the pry bar in one round. That's a lot of good merchandise with these guys. Slaver. That one we take.
Didn't they hunt someone? Or they really wanted to hunt us, huh? I would actually, by the way, it really doesn't matter who carries what. So. Because we have to put it in the trunk now anyway. With all the metal armor that's... Uh, ah, that's... That's also... There are no shots left. So this guy has a nasty battle gauntlet. Oh, he had a grenade. Yeah, there we go. Okay. He had a grenade and liked to smell good. One bolt. One knife to sharpen. And that's it, huh? I think we didn't forget anybody. Yeah, okay, good. And then we will make our way further to a red fighter. Broken down house. There's something there. Just an empty canteen. Yeah. We already have several. Ah! This guy here. Sorry. Forget about it. Uh, I forgot. Oh, and she had a grenade. Okay. So there are no would-be slaves here, but let's go here and then we can actually eat one meat or two. Close me some meat, that's good. So Jolba, you are not doing so well. Uh, let's have two pieces of meat. There. Yeah. Could be that we need to use a, a med kit on Fidel. So I think, yeah, I think there's nothing else here. Doesn't look like it. Otherwise, we would have seen something. Doesn't say that Fidel has any effect, though. Well, let's use a med kit on him. Come here, Fiddle. That's much better. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, he's not going to lose an eye. That's the good news. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we just need the level. But we are a bit away from the level. So we can really note the difference uh, with the experience points. So that's good. Opening the trunk. And I think that actually concludes this episode. Um, oh well, oh no, we are we are driving back to Red Fighter, so we are driving to Red Fighter, and then uh, then we are ending the episode. Oh, that's a lot of ru uh, worth in rubles that we got here. That's and so far the slavers are actually pretty good uh, opponents for us. And well, we are wearing their numbers down, don't we? No ammo in there. Good. So there we go. We are yeah. Hexogen is really using up all the 0.30 rounds, so I think it's really wise to uh, be careful with the ammunition even now. Um, yeah.
Okay, so, that's that. Let's leave. Let's just sharpen the knife very quickly. There you go. And this one goes to Fidel. Saving and then we are good to go. Starting the engine. Cost us one medkit on the other hand. Yeah. Driving through to Red Fighter. There we go. And then I guess we should actually be able to order uh, the next repair. Oh. A new person. Wow. Oh, that guy. A tall, muscular man in a weathered blue beret gives us a look before slapping us on the shoulder. Hey, chef. That's a neat trick you pulled here, you son of a whore. Eh, <laughs> well, <laughs> What, what kind of uh, uh, greeting is that, huh? We quickly recognize him as Alexander, a fellow Atom cadet. The two of us trained together and later on we were both briefed on the disappearance of General Morozov. I still remember how young you were, a tiny baby. Whose dirty ass I used to wash in the Bachisarayan fountain. And now look at you, founding new settlements all over the place. Mom's biggest mistake then, the pride of the wasteland now. <laughs> what? What is this? We and Alexander are the same age, plus the Bashisarayan fountain isn't a real place. It was invented by Russian classical poet Pushkin. These two facts give us pause for thought as we listen to Alexander's harangue. Oh, hello, cadet. Didn't expect you to show up here. Hey there, Fido. <laughs> So you got tired of hanging out at that bar you had. You could say that. Duty called me into the wastes. I always told you your place is on the battlefield. Have you seen your head? It can be used to send light signals back to the base. <laughs> well, and a merry hello to you too. Did you want something, Alex? We are a bit busy. But we also have so many questions. Busy, huh? He smiles softly, then delivers a strong punch straight to our gut. Goddamn, hitting you is like hitting that fluffy pie mom used to make back in Georgia. Anyway, what the fuck do you mean you're busy? It's your bro, your bosom friend. Pour him a shot and remember the times you spent together, son of a bitch. It comes to us that Alexander never lived in Georgia, neither did his parents, but we decide to keep our mouth shut. <laughs> Well, we were never actually close. You basically lived at the gym, don't you remember? But yeah, I guess I, I guess I could have asked you a few questions. You should have started with that. Let's go. What brings you to Red Fighter, buddy? Soon as I heard you, some nut job was rebuilding a settlement. I I ran straight here, uh, here, there, here. Took me a while, but here I am. Yeah, we Marines are a dying breed. We need to hang on to each other. It's brother for brother, even your brother is some chaff. We recall that Alexander was never marine, more so. He rem uh, we remember him buying that blue beret off a junk trader a few years back. Yeah. So, do you know Gossin? He's one of us and, uh, too. Fuck that guy. For a funny prank, I hid in his place to spook him. But when I jumped out, he grabbed his gun and started fanning. Bullets all over the place. Can you imagine shooting someone who nearly died for your sorry ass in Afghanistan? I'll tell you this much, Bob. For me, the wastes are like a resort, but some people just shouldn't be here. The atmosphere messes with their brains, you know? You're not even the worst case I've seen. Yeah, okay, so, so, and what are you doing in the wasteland? Alexander smirks and knocks himself on the forehead. What are you, stupid? Did you think you were the only one sent to look for a Mos Morosov? It would be like sending my old hag of a mother, except she'd do better, I think, since all you actually accomplish is playing with the local politicians, killing aunts and solving problems for the peasantry. Okay, well, actually, he's a bit right there, because we've not really... We've not followed the main mission too much, didn't we? But we wanted, firstly, to establish a base of operations, and uh, that way... Uh, you know, guarantee the long-term success of the project. But since your at uh, our atom leaders are sociopath, they didn't send my mother, but they did send me. 
We remember that Alexander never had a mother when he was growing up. He was an orphan who was picked up by an atom agent during a patrol mission. Yeah, so what have you learned while researching the case? I'm not telling. There are ears everywhere. Have you seen the mutants who live in dumps like Krasnozameni? Eyes too close together, receding chins, tiny biceps. Would it be dumb to suspect that some of them went a little bit further with the mutations and turned themselves into bushes or trees to spy on us? Am I too cautious? Maybe, but I'm not dead, and lack of trust is the main reason for that. Okay, well, so how long since you made contact with base? Alexander scowls at us. Who are you? Communication specialist Vasily? What if I never have made contact? What then? Will you make me eat boiled eggs for a month, like last time? Huh? I'll have you know I wasn't even issued a radio. Plus, I don't know what to report. Really now, Boba? Why are you always trying to make me look stupid? Sometimes I regret I didn't give your tiny baby ass by that fountain at Amin's place. <laughs> Calm down, Alexander. So, Amin's place in Amin's palace in Afghanistan, you mean? You weren't even born when that place was destroyed. That was a metaphor. It's Greek for mock me again and I'll kill you. Well, buddy, now things are getting a bit serious here. Um, we shouldn't talk like that, you know? Like, you should never threat your friends with killing them. So, um, know anything about the subject of our mission? Alexander flashes a mysterious smile. Well, I do know someone who might just help you out, but we'll talk about that later. I'm not done testing you. Oh, yes, this casual chat we are having is actually a test, and only smart and strong people pass, usually. Ah, I'm even a bit jealous of you. You don't get the deep meanings and intricate workings of things around you. You just swim around like a little goldfish, caring about nothing. Well... Hey, Alexander, why are you constantly making shit up as we speak? Alexander Constant half smirk disappears and he assumes a solemn expression. Can pull a fast one on you, buddy? You're right. The reason we've been chatting for so long is because I thought talking with someone from my past would trigger my memories. But if I tell you why I'm like this, you won't repeat it to anyone. Well... Who am I gonna blub to? Calm down, bro. Your secret is safe with me. But it depends on the tell, buddy. Kind of, but yeah. Who am I gonna blab to? Calm down, bro. Your secret is safe with me. I've never broken a promise, actually, in my whole life. But of course, I'm only promising what I can keep. So, meh. Actually, I don't care either way. Go ahead. Spill my secrets to your new friends from Otradnoi or something. I know how you are. All right, listen up. Once I found a bottle of vodka near some woods. The whole scene was clear as day to me. Morozov got lost drank himself silly and went into the woods to hang himself, or, you know, gather some shrooms. I followed the trail which led me into the marsh near that one gas station. We, we are continuing listening in silence. So there I was, walking knee-deep in shit water when I heard something in the branches overhead. I show no emotion, naturally, since I'm too manly for stuff like fear and screaming. I moved a branch. And there he sat, a weird worm of some kind, long as my arm and fat like a goddamn piglet, walking around on ten stubby legs, whistling a show tune, if I remember correctly. I grabbed the rascal and placed it, him on my shoulder. What could go wrong, I thought. I'll have an elite pet, and if I get hungry, a ready-to-heat breakfast. But as I walked further, imagining how tasty the little guy would be after roasting him over a blazing fire, he started crawling into my ear. And when he got halfway in there, he started chomping my brain. Now, if I hadn't died in the next moment, I'd have tried to grab him, but no dice. Uh, Alexander, ho hold on. What? You died? Alexander smacks himself on the forehead. What do you think? I did mention he ate my brains, right? First I lost my motor control, then I went blind, then my whole life flashed before me and everything went dark. Sometime later, I awoke, but I wasn't myself, exactly. Half of my memories were of me training to become an atom cadet, the other half of wriggling along three branches, waiting for a human to come around so I could gobble up their brains. The third part consisted of things I dreamt about or heard or read in books, but they still seem real. Also, I lost my desire to smoke, I don't drink as much, and when I eat, I prefer raw pork and beef, even though canned stuff is good too. And I still like getting my hands on cutie, so there's that. Hmm. So, we are dealing with the parasitic organism, huh? 
but to what extent does the worm take over the host's personality? And by the way, uh, actually what we really want to know is who are you, Alexander or the worm or a mixture? And did you see any doctors? But so, so we are dealing with a parasitic organism, huh? Alexander makes an expanding gesture around his head. Boom! Mind blown! Save your techno babble for the eggheads back at base. Just tell me, who am I? Alexander or the worm with Alexander's memories? Well... Well, you were always a liar, an idiot and a thief of other people's valor. You are 100% Alexander, huh? Ah, oh, well, honestly, we don't know. And we don't even want to know now. We want to know. We weren't all that close before. How should I know whether you've changed or not? Yeah, we weren't all that close before. How should we know whether we have changed or not? Alexander chuckles and slaps us on the back. Well, if neither of us has a clue, nobody ever will. Maybe there really is no answer. But maybe the final call is up to the world to decide. For example, if I stay with you, I'll become more human than warm and maybe even help you find that Morosov bastard. Yeah, after that I'll 100% be good old Alexander again. You better start welcoming me onto the team. Well, we'll see about that. Oh! And he is he, he is part of the team now, alright. The blue beret. Alright, he's got a good backpack there. Strength 9, endurance 10, dexterity only 6. Action points are 8, that's actually not so bad. Intelligence only 5. Attention 6. Uh, so ah, he's into martial arts and yeah a bit more pistols well and here ah okay so he's oh he's got the way of the warrior that's good oaken skin And he already has Sambo, a downed enemy is a dead enemy, 10% to stun during close quarter combats, plus 1 to dodge for every action point spent, adrenaline rush, in dangerous situations time slows for you, when your health falls to half get 2 additional action points. That's not so bad. Quick regeneration. Yeah, that's not so bad, actually. So. But let's think about this guy a bit further, what to do with him. I mean, obviously, I would like to do stuff and see stuff with him that we don't have with the others. Um, but of course, like, you know that I am a fan of having people uh, who can perform in, in different roles. That makes us more uh, flexible and technically more flexible. So I, I guess he's going for martial arts because he already has like 20 point, uh, points more, or 15 actually. Um, and maybe we should actually make him a pistolero, huh? How about that? Like, I mean, he's really good at melee. Like somewhat, somewhat a melee guy, but he's too slow for that. He's also too slow for that with only 8 action points. Sales is 141 on the other hand. That's like a lot. Because he's got so much endurance. But yeah, that will be eaten up quickly enough. Yeah. But I think we can make him more a tanky person. Um. And like, we give him like the duelist, and then here the pistol attacks, and then he gets dexterity. I think that wouldn't be so bad. And then with more dexterity, uh, he might even get more action points. And then he can also shoot the pistol some more. And then we've got, we ourselves will have automatic firearms, as we know, rifles. The martial arts and throwing weapons. That's our personal goal. While Fidel has rifles and melee weapons. 
Exogen, his martial arts and automatic firearms. Ja. Ja, yeah, but his pistols. Ja. Yeah. But his attention is also only six. Ja, yeah, the others are a bit better there. And his chance of crit is five. Regeneration is 50. Ja. Yeah. But by the way, I'm just noticing something. Um, Hexogen. Hexogen has always used the PPS. That is only SMG, of course. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's fine. With Hexogen, it's also fine because he's got 80 points. But we've been pushing automatic firearms a lot. Uh, and maybe actually it is time to shove it around. And then... Um, Alexander can actually use the PPS or something and he will be close to the enemy anyway. Yeah, I think that's probably interesting. Um, guaranteed melee critical when drawing first blood in a fight. Plus 10 to crit in close quarter combat. You now get two t the quick reaction. You now get two turns in every round of battle. The first with full AP, the second with 50% of your maximum AP. Now that's really cool. Quick reaction. Oh, that's actually excellent. Let's go there. Let's ignore armor in close quarters. Sneaking tiger, hidden dragon, the falcon punch. A new unarmed combat technique costing 7 action points. 100% chance of causing a critical effect when used on the enemy only with bare fists now. By the way, that is something I don't uh, understand very well because, like here, the battle gauntlet, yeah. Like that's basically like if you are punching someone with your fists provided you do a fist punch like basically with the knuckles yeah and you're not using your wrist for example or your uh, how do you say it in english like the edge of your hand um but just basically the knuckle punch then a, a battle gauntlet like this here uh, is basically like a fist punch yeah as we can see here Although he holds it kind of, it looks more like a buckler now, like a small buckler or something. Yeah, but whatever. Well. By the way, let's put our crossbow back here. Yeah, well, I'm going to think about this a bit. Um, let's just go in here. Ah, and it's still in work, okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, but I guess like like the village is filling up now, huh? Work and wait, I better go to sleep. Sasha, you lazy. You lazy person. But there's no one else new here, huh? Yeah, well, and we remember that was Grokin. We wanted to find this lady for Gavrilov, huh? Oh, there's someone. Who are they? Oh, 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 there are people. Well then. So, but we are going to talk with them next time. Uh, and then I will I will have thought about um, Alexander. What to do with him. How to build him. Um, but I'm certainly going for the Praetorian so he can have also some uh, metal armor and uh, isn't weighted down. He might even be a good uh, person for a shield. The shield battle maybe. You know? if, if we put him like really like the Praetorian close combat fighter. You know? Could be pretty interesting. So, alright. Thanks for watching guys. Um, that is certainly interesting. Certainly interesting. And yeah, 
I guess we have a full team now because we can have up to three companions or like four like including the dog huh? yeah thanks for watching this is where we can end this episode I hope you liked it and if you liked it just a tiny little bit please consider to click the subscription button and the like button right now doesn't cost you anything but it helps me tremendously thank you see you next time bye bye